it's time to bleed those huge roots these are three months these are three months roots so yeah it's definitely time so yeah even if i love to dye my hair you know experimenting new stuff with my hair and bleaching my hair and all of this crazy stuff i've been doing that for almost 13 years already i have a lot of experience so what i'm going to say in this video is not from a hairdresser i'm not a hairdresser so i'm not an expert but i definitely have a lot of experience with it now bleaching roots is the part that i hate the most when it comes to hair so whenever i have roots i will go to my hairdresser and have my roots done by my hairdresser so if you have the money if you have the opportunity whatever please go to a hairdresser because it's not something that you will enjoy doing at home it's not something easy and probably if you have if you don't have a lot of experience your hair will end up being a mess bleaching roots is not something easy and fast it's a little bit difficult and you definitely have to have a little bit of experience with hair it's not an easy thing to bleach only this part and then oh my god and there are parts behind you that you obviously you can't see so your application won't be perfect i really suggest you to go to a hairdresser and get your roots done by a hairdresser so as you can see my hair is basically black so i usually need around two or three bleach applications sometimes even four so i'll be using 20 volumes 20 volumes it's enough even if you have black hair i will suggest to go for 20 volumes because it is better to use the minimum volumes possible instead of using high volumes of course you will get your hair as light as possible just uh in the first application but that will really ruin your hair it's always better to do more applications but using less volumes and if you can let your hair rest for at least two weeks between each application that will be the best that's how i always do it at home by myself and i don't completely ruin my hair my hair is still so strong and so healthy so always use the minimum volumes possible i won't suggest you to use more than 20 volumes even if you have black hair always go for 20 volumes but just do more application if needed but not more than 20. this is the bleaching powder that i will use i've been using this one for five six or even seven years already so this one is so good it is from an italian brand is this from the brand okay i don't know the brand i think it's capro but anyways and this is a toner that i got from italy is the first time using this toner so i really really hope this will be the shade that i need i will do a test before of course but let's test it of course when bleaching your roots you will need a toner okay this one is very important because because fresh bleached hair will always look uh, super yellowish or orange so that's why you have to use a toner it will kind of erase that yellowish and orange tone of course you will have to use also a purple shampoo but yeah pretty much that's it so this is the <laughs> that's my kombucha <laughs> this is not for bleaching roots okay but yeah i just love kombuchas this is the healthiest thing you can drink okay cool so bleaching powder toner 20 volumes I will also use for the mix i will use uh, coconut oil and use oil blacks if you want to protect your hair more but i don't have oil blacks right now so i will use coconut oil because that's perfect for me like coconut oil give me that protection that i really need for my hair my hair is so dirty right now remember to have your hair as dirty as possible before bleaching or dyeing your hair because you will really need your natural oils in order to protect you from bleaching and dyeing okay so having your natural oils to protect your hair and also using coconut oil to protect even more your hair and if you want use uh olaplex also you will have like super protection okay so let's get into it
I hate bleaching my roots, but I hate even more heavy roots, if that makes sense. Because it looks so bad, in my opinion, like if you have blonde hair or you have whatever fantasy dye in your hair and you have black roots or brown roots, it looks horrible, it looks like ass, bro, so I just hate it. <laughs> it is a lot of hard work, but I have to do it and next time I will go to my hairdresser, definitely. But this time I really want to do it by myself and use this toner because I bought it from Italy uh, last Christmas and it was quite expensive <laughs> so I really have to use this I don't know why I bought this if I hate doing my roots Okay, cool, let's do it So I will start brushing my hair before proceeding to bleach everything I did a test on a strand and it did pretty well so I will do the rest of my hair as I said before, I will be using coconut oil for the mixture, but I also prefer to apply it all over my hair first. So it is like double protection. I don't know if it only works in my mind, but the truth is that every time I do my hair, it doesn't feel as damaged after bleaching. Now I'm doing the bleach mixture and I've added bleach powder, 20 volumes and coconut oil. I always start for the back and from the bottom up. You have to separate your hair into several sections and make sure that the strands are neither too thin or too thick. Of course, use two mirrors, one in front of you and one behind you to see your back. Of course, probably your application won't be perfect and even more so if you have to reapply it several more times. Again, that is why I highly recommend going to a hairdresser whenever you can afford it. Because yes, bleaching is expensive, but trust me, once you do it at home, you will understand why. <laughs> bleaching the back is the hardest part of the process because you obviously can't see well what you're doing, but once you finish with the hair in the back, the front area becomes much faster and easier since, of course, you can see it better. After about 10 to 15 minutes, I take a look at the roots to see how they are doing basically and reapply bleach in areas that I may have missed. Or if you maybe want to lighten your hair even more from the first application. But remember that this counts as a new bleaching and it will damage your hair more if you don't let it rest between each one. And yes, of course, you have to make a new mix for this but you only have to do a little this time, so don't worry. It's time to wash my hair. I will apply the purple shampoo to see if it eliminates the yellow tones. And it hasn't eliminated the yellow tones. So it's time for toner. Let's see if it can save me, basically. The toner application is the exact same thing, but you have to go as fast as you can, as if you were putting on a mask or something and leave it in your hair for only 10 to 15 minutes. Just make sure to check from time to time that it reaches the desired tone and once you see that it has changed to the tone that you are looking for, then wash it. Next, I've used a purple spray to get rid even more of the yellowish tones, so hopefully I don't have to do any more bleaching. But again, it didn't work. Getting rid of yellow or orange tones is the thickest part of this. I always try to get rid of the yellow with purple shampoos or toner in order to avoid doing more bleaching. And you know, sometimes it works, but not this time. <laughs> so yes, I will need more bleaching. This time I went to buy a new bleaching powder, Olaplex, to protect my hair from more bleaching. It includes number one and two. Number one is for mixture and number two is for like a post bleaching repair mask and finally i bought this dye later i will explain the meaning of the numbers 11.11 .11. okay so it's been a week so i'm ready for another bleach this is my first time trying this new bleach i've been wanting to try it for a very long time it is made of charcoal this is the one that my hairdresser always uses and it's 
awesome. And it makes a lot of sense because charcoal has always been used for whitening and it works like magic. It's definitely my favorite bleaching powder from now on. The consistency of the mixture is very light and I just love it. Okay, so let's go for the third bleaching. It feels very yellowish as you can see and since the rest of my hair is very light, I needed to match the tones and that is going to cost me a lot of bleaching and money and time. But it is what it is and at least I will let it rest for as much as possible in between. And I have to say that this bleaching powder plus all effects felt amazing. My hair didn't feel itchy at all and my hair didn't feel too dry. It has definitely been a good investment. This is how my roots looked like after washing my hair. As you can see, there is still some small yellow iris, so I decided to do another bleaching. I let my hair rest for four days this time. I have used the same mixture as before plus Olaplex, and also I'm not going to apply it again everywhere, just a little on the top areas to neutralize the yellow just a little more. And finally, it's dye time. I have chosen the tone 11.11 .11 because it will be very good to neutralize the yellowish tone and I will get the desired platinum as blonde that I want. First you have to know what level the base of your hair is at. For example, my base is 11-12 because I have it almost white. Don't be confused by the shades of the colors but by the level of clarity. Imagine the levels are in grayscale. How light is your hair? It is very important to know this because the first number of your dye refers to the level of clarity of your hair base. So if my hair base is at 11 and I buy a 8.11 one for example, that means that my hair is going to darken until it reaches tone 8. In the same way, it will be nonsense if you are a shade 1 or 2 and go by a shade 10, 11 since it will be not seen because your base is dark. Maybe it will lighten your hair a couple of shades but nothing more. And as for the second number, it refers to the tone and subtone that your dye have, as you can see in this chart. So if I have yellow tones I want to get rid of, I will go for purple, blue or ash tones. Because I want to neutralize that yellow, right? That's why you also have to know about the complementary colors. If the tone number is repeated, in this case 11.11, .11, it means that that same tone is intensified it even more. So this is how 11.11 .11 will look. Of course you have to have a 11 hair base in order to get this exact color. This number means 11 hair base plus 1 plus 1 equals kinda intensified platinum ash blonde. Okay, so let's see the final result. Okay, this is how night it looks after so much effort and two week process, I'm finally so happy with it. It is not completely platinum as you can see, it is more like a platinum as blonde because I didn't want to have my hair completely platinum but with a blonde undertone, so it turned out just the way I wanted. To achieve this, I have reduced the exposure time and I have let the dye only 15 minutes. If you leave it longer, it will become even wider and will be completely platinum in most cases. Okay, so I hope my experience and my new professional knowledge has helped you with the process if you do your own hair at home. And please let me know in the comments if you like this kind of content and share with us your tips, questions or just let me know what hair color would you like to have next time. Thank you so much for watching guys till the end. I love you so so much. See you in the next video. Bye bye.